So in the year 2020, Microsoft released their latest flight simulator, Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. So at the time, I did want it, but I wanted to go full it. I wanted the rudder pedals, I wanted the flight stick and everything. And I was all geared up to buy it on my gamer laptop at the time, but I couldn't get hold of the flight sticks. The flight sticks just seemed to just be unavailable. Everyone in lockdown became a pilot, basically. And a few weeks ago, if you've watched the previous video, I bought myself an Xbox Series X, and with that, I bought a flight simulator. So I was scanning the old internet the other day, looking for a flight stick, and the Hotus One popped up in Argos for $79.99. And I ummed an ad, and it lasted all of two seconds, and I bought one. So today, this video is on this little baby. The Hotus One by Thrustmaster. Now, it's been out for quite a while and it is pretty much an entry level sort of flight stick. Before I go on, like, you know, before I go full on pilot, before I get the, the, the things on me fucking shoulders, before I get the rudder pedals, before I start converting this room into the cockpit of an A320neo, um, I thought I'll just try this because it was just the cheapest one available. I did see one in PC wheel the other day for about 250 quid and it was the full on yoke. But most planes now are controlled by these joysticks. So basically in today's video, we're just gonna be taking a look at what this is. I mean, as I say, it's not a new, so I mean, if you've seen it before, turn away now. If you haven't seen it, carry on watching. Uh, just a quick look around the box, right? So what it says about this, it's an official flight simulator designed for Xbox Series X, S, Xbox One and Windows. HOTAS stands for Hands on Throttle and Stick Controls. Flight stick with pitch and roll and twist that rudder features. Full size detachable throttle, it does come apart, yeah. Plug and play, ergonomically designed, adjustable stick resistance, uh, dual rudder system by rotating handle, blah, blah, blah. Comprehensive flight gear, five axis and 14 action buttons on one rapid fire trigger. And a list of compatible Xbox One games available at thrustmaster.com. So in the box, we have a joystick, throttle, Allen key, consumer warranty information, and compatible with the Thrustmaster TFRP T-Flight rudder pedals sold separately, which are, I've just seen them somewhere on the box, which are there. There we go. So we're not gonna do an unboxing because in the box, all we've got is a flight stick and the controls. So we're just gonna do a quick unboxing. There we go. Righty-ho, so as you can see, I'll put this thing together. You've got a little Allen key there, and then there's your sort of connection. And you basically just put it together and screw it tight. You've got joystick resistance, plus and minus, which is cool. PC and Xbox, and a socket for the rudder. You've got various buttons, which are to simulate the Xbox controller so you've got like this one here is the main sort of like button and then you've got like what have you there's the rapid fire on the joystick around the back we have fighter pilot controls and we have the throttle it stops in the middle and then you've got you know up and down sort of thing like that on the back there's some buttons which I don't know if they're mapped and then various other buttons here around the front some more buttons and the lead which I have read on the forums they did say the lead is not very big and it doesn't really look very big so it's gonna to have to be a joystick extender or a joy whatever extender so there's the rudder controls there, you just literally twist it like that. So that simulates the pedals, the rudder pedals. And in general, the whole thing does actually feel, I know it's an entry level, but it feels quite solid, if that makes sense, and quite well made. There's like, that feels really, really sturdy. And I haven't even got it on much resistance, to be honest with you. Just loosen it off. It still feels quite well, well put together. This one as well, people say it's a little sensitive, but it's the same as a plane, I assume anyway. So what I'm gonna do, 
I'm not going to film in here because I haven't got much space. I'm going to go downstairs and I'm going to set the mighty Xbox Series X up on the big 60 inch telly. And we're just going to basically have a quick little flight and just to see how this sort of like, you know, how it works. Because I'm just sort of starting out on this so I'm just going to do a flight that's on the runway and literally I'm going to put the throttle on pull up and we're going to have a little fly i'm not going to do the full-on flight where you've got to like sort of do all the baggage and stuff like that all the checks before you start so yeah let's go downstairs right okay so we are on the runway at liverpool john and airport and i'll just show you that the part of brake is still on that's full throttle and if you look around the cab you can see See. So the buttons for this, there's like preset buttons that I might, which I'm quite happy with. Do a quick check. Right, okay, so to release the parking brake, it's saying press A. Now button A. Just a second one down. So we're going to release the parking brake and apply full throttle. I'm going to hurtle down the runway.
general. Flick through all the controls. Back off the engine as well, as you can hear. Increase and decrease. So I need to know what is the view for outside. That's menu button. Like so, a look. So I mean, for a console, Manchester Center, Boeing Alpha Sierra, this day is blue The actual controls do feel quite steady. They've got like a thing there for you, for your hand just to rest on. Ergonomically, that just fits perfect. So what we're going to do, we're going to have a little close dive. We're going to go through the clouds. Everything is live and all maxed out where you are. Back up the throttle then. See, you've got these red things as well, which I don't know how to get rid of. Full throttle. Pull up as well, but on the art. Or 5,000 feet. This should be at least 30,000 now. Manchester yes. Centre, Boeing oh. Alpha Sierra, yeah. seven four seven eight thousand two hundred feet. So if we just turn the plane. Boeing Alpha Sierra, seven four seven right. Manchester Centre altimeter two nine or decimal six three. Continue as planned. So there's no also pilot Boeing seven four seven contact Shelbury approach on one three three decimal one five. Good day. One three three decimal one five Boeing seven four seven. Shawberry approach, Boeing Alpha Sierra, 747-6800 feet. So we've got something there called Boeing Alpha Sierra, 747-6800 feet. 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 Boeing Alpha Sierra, 747-6800 
I literally anywhere in the world to want on this game. It is phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal what Microsoft have done with this game. You know, I've been a fan of these flight servers since I'd say sort of mid 90s. And they just they just keep getting better all the time. I don't know where we are now, but somewhere called Cross Hill, Broad Oak. Um, Slight bit of turbulence. Is it turbulence? Why is it? Why is it moving? Just have a little look around the cockpit. You can have a camera view that actually does go in the where all the passengers stay and stuff like that. I don't quite know what the red lines are. Back of throttle lights off, keep it stores. No, no engine power at all, no. No engine power at all. Oh, we're at 27%. And we're literally dropping out of the sky. Power up. Pull up. There we go. As you can see, when you turn the rudder, you'll see the rudder move side to side like a little whale tail. You go down on the throttle and up. And then obviously left and right. So I don't know where we're flying now, but... 135 decibel 875 Boeing 747. Cosport yeah. approach Boeing Alpha Sierra 747 4700 feet. feet. Yeah, I'm cut. Yeah. Well, the scenery is quite, it's quite nice. They are updating it all the time, so it's not like, it's not perfect, and it's not high-end PC, it's a console. But Microsoft are updating it, and they have recently, I think, updated Canada. I mean, this runs off Google Air, Google imagery, so satellite imagery, I should say, sorry. But I mean, look at it. Just. It's, look at the window, there's all the houses. Simulator 2020 with the Hotels One flight controls. So I'll just quit that now. You can do various other things in this game, but I won't go into today. It was just short to show you controls and stuff like that. Okay, so that was a little look at the Hotas One from Thrustmaster. Head camera for that little sort of POV view. Not that it was sort of like anything great, but yeah, this thing is. Give it a solid 8 out of 10 for that. Very well made for an entry level. And um, I'm going to have hours and hours of fun getting used to it. I might actually keep the controls that's on there. Like it's, it's all being mapped out. It's I'm quite happy with it at the moment. I don't see any issues in me sort of thing. You know, I've got my camera view. I've got everything I need sort of thing. So yeah. There is going to be some more. Well a lot more videos on this. And also Flight Simulator. Because Flight Sim. As I've been after it for quite a while. With these controls. So stay tuned, and as always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next flight. Nice shooting, son. What's your name? Siri.